big day ahead for you guys. We got Congressman Sherrod Brown, soon to be Senator of Ohio, on the show a little bit later. We got Congressman George Miller of California, Michael Isikoff of Newsweek, Christy Harvey of Center of American Progress. We've got Matt Stoller from MyDoubleD.com. We got David Sirota from Sirota Blog. We got Congressman Bob Barr, former Republican and, from the House. And we and they're not even our uh, biggest guest. <laughs> All of that is part of the Tom Delay goes down extravaganza. But first, out of nowhere, all of a sudden, on the Young Turks, Mel Brooks, everybody. Hello, 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 everybody. <laughs> it's Mel Brooks, a a very old Turk. <laughs> right, that's right. Just for some, you know, put a little more cream in your coffee here, you know. Uh, well, you know, I would disagree, Mr. Brooks. I would say that you're the original Young Turk. I was the original Young Turk about 75 years ago. Now, <laughs> I let's you know let's let's uh, call a. Uh, a Jew is a spade, a Jew. Or whatever. <laughs> uh, I'm an old Turk. All right, you know. fair enough. But fair a, enough. A, a Turk is still a good thing. A Turk, you know. Yeah, sure, tough. Sure, sure, yeah, a lot of. Yeah, we, we, I, I still, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not incontinent or anything like that. You know, I'm, I'm still fine. We, keep in mind, you we look do, great. We, keep in mind, we do, a, we do, a, we do a, a three-hour show, so there's still time. Oh, there's still time yeah. to just, you know, well, I'll look down. Yeah, exactly. I'll just, just, I'll check it out. See how things are going. I'm here because. I'm looking uh, to promote a boxed set from 20th Century Fox of Mel Brooks movies. Um, Bla there, yeah. I go, got, I got them. go, Ben. Blazing Saddles, which is, you know, it's hysterically am Amazing. Funny. Warner Brothers kicked, kicked in Blazing Saddles. They, you know, they... It was great, great of them. They said, "Well, for Mel, we'll do this." Oh, that's nice. So, yeah. so you know, normally movie studios are yeah, in each other's throats. This is very nice. Blazing Saddles, Young Frankenstein, uh, which was the first movie I ever. I'm bringing it to Broadway, by the way, Ben. Are you bringing? Yeah, the, you, this radio audience should be the first audience to know that Mel Brooks is bringing Young Frank to Broadway in '07. Oh wow, that's yeah. amazing. Well. I don't know, though. I mean, do you have any success in Broadway? Yeah. I mean, did, <laughs> well, did the producers work out for you at all? Or? It, it broke even. It broke I, even. Yeah, I, I can tell well, you. Know, it's a tough racket. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. a tough racket, Broadway. Broadway is very tough. I mean, you know, you don't make it opening night and you close, <laughs> you know, the next day. So. Blazing Saddles, Young Frankenstein, Silent Movie, Robin Hood, Men in Tights, To Be or Not to Be, History of the World, Part 1, The Twelve Chairs, High Anxiety. History of the World, Part 1, the first movie, I was going to say it was Young Frankenstein, but is but. The first movie that I remember at a young age uh, laughing hysterically at was History of the World Part 1. Mel Brooks getting a phone call. No, it's, 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 it's not mine. Oh, it's Jill. It's Jill Pike getting I'm, a phone yeah, call. I'm sitting in for Jill, and Jill's getting a phone call. Probably f <laughs> I took one look at her, and I, I, I got a number. So maybe me calling. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You'd think you know, there are a lot of people knows? calling. Yeah. So, Ben, go on. No, I just, uh, uh, the History of the World Part 1, uh, uh, again, uh, what year was that? History of the World Part 1, I, I don't know, I'm guessing 70. No, 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 no. Early? That I'm makes sense. A little, a little earlier than that. Maybe, maybe 78? Look, when, 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 uh, when Moses comes down with the three platelets and he drops <laughs> one, I give you the 15, drops it, 10 commandments. I've repeated it 10,000 times. Yeah. It is, it was, uh, so you're the guy. Because <laughs> yeah, it, couldn't, it couldn't possibly be funnier. And it's just weird how you remember when you, when you think back about you know, going to the theater and, as a kid and what, what things made an impression. That's just what I remember laughing at hardest first. Which is, you know, that's something. Oh, I like to laugh. You. Thank you. That's, uh, you know, well, you know, this is gonna, this is a, uh, a a bonanza for a, you know, for a very small crowd of devotees, you know. Oh, I suspect. Devotees. Yeah. Tom Delay went down. Devotee. Tom Delay. <laughs> devotee. No Tom Delay. Tom Delay out. Devotee in. Yes. yes I, do, I don't yeah. think it's a small group. Um, no. Yeah, I think it's a pretty big group of yeah. devotees. So I see you're getting into rap. Is that is that a new <laughs> hip hop thing for you? Is that I, the direction we're going? I started rap. I started it. I actually I didn't started know that. It. Yeah. It's, it's good to be the king. <laughs> that's yeah, true. That's, that's exactly and right. Many years ago, that right? I did just to promote, you know, to promote history of the world, part one. You know, the, I was King Louis the Sixteenth, and I was promoting. So it's good to be the king. And then later, under the guidance and direction of Alan Johnson, gay and wonderful. A choreographer, Alan, my, one of my uh, sweetest best friends, he directed me in a little short called The Hitler Rap. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. And what year was that? Uh, I think 80 or 81. Yeah, it was right around as hip hop's coming out, so there yeah. you go. Original hip hop uh, uh, master Mel Brooks as well. All right, Mel, now before we go, uh, any thoughts on Tom Delay? Well, you know, uh, um, 
things are written that are beyond us. They're written in the wind. They're, sometimes they're written way before we're born on the side of a cave. And, you know, if you, if you go to Egypt and you scratch the inside of one of these pyramids and keep working on it, sand it, you will get down to some hieroglyphics that's, that, that if, they are, if, they're, if you had a Rosetta Stone and you could understand it, it would say, Tom DeLay is going down. <laughs> that, I mean, they predicted it uh, maybe three, three, four thousand years ago. So it was easy. It was bound to happen. It was inevitable. My own, my own thoughts are are that uh, you know good things happen to those who deserve them. You know, <laughs> right? And bad things happen to people who deserve right. them too. Mel Brooks's box set is coming out. Everybody, check it out in '07. Uh, Young Frankenstein on on Broadway. It's sixty nine ninety nine. You get eight Mel Brooks movies for seventy bucks. It's like yeah, it's less than ten dollars a movie. Yeah, you're losing money not buying it. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, I just got to say, when I was in high school, uh, History of the World, The Blazing Saddles, I just loved him. So oh, it's good to be the king. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. And thank you so much for joining us. All right, us. gentlemen, really appreciate a it. pleasure. Thanks for letting me you, you pitch and plug for you know for nothing. Uh, you know, I really appreciate it. Thank no you. problem. Nice work, and Michael is the cough of Newsweek. When we come back on the Young Turks, thank you, Mel.